Hello and welcome to this video where we will compare and contrast the two major world religions of Islam and Christianity. These two faiths have a lot in common, but also some significant differences that shape their worldviews and practices. We will explore their origins, beliefs, scriptures, practices, holy days, and differences on various topics such as God, Jesus, salvation, and prophets. We hope you enjoy this video and learn something new. Let's start with a brief introduction to both religions. Islam and Christianity are both Abrahamic faiths, meaning they trace their roots to the prophet Abraham, who is revered by both as a patriarch and a messenger of God. However, they have different views on God, Jesus, and salvation, which we will discuss later. Christianity is the world's largest religion, with about 2.4 billion followers, or 31% of the global population. It originated in the 1st century CE in the Roman province of Judea, now Israel and Palestine, as a Jewish sect that followed Jesus of Nazareth, whom they believed to be the Messiah, or the Anointed One, sent by God to save humanity from sin and death. Christians believe in the Trinity, which is the doctrine that God is one being in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They also believe that Jesus is the Son of God, who was born of a virgin, performed miracles, taught the gospel, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. Christians regard the Bible as the inspired Word of God, which consists of the Old Testament, which is shared with Judaism, and the New Testament, which contains the four Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, the Letters of Paul and other writers, and the Book of Revelation. Christianity has various denominations and branches, such as Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Anglicanism, and others, which differ in their doctrines, rituals, and authority structures. Christianity also has various clergy, such as priests, bishops, ministers, monks, and nuns, who perform religious services and lead the faithful. Islam is the world's second-largest religion, with about 1.9 billion followers, or 24% of the global population. It originated in the 7th century CE in the Arabian Peninsula, where Muhammad, a merchant and a preacher, claimed to receive revelations from God through the angel Gabriel. Muslims believe that Muhammad is the final prophet of God, who was sent to restore the original monotheistic faith of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and other prophets. Muslims believe in strict monotheism, which is the belief that there is only one God, who is called Allah in Arabic. They also believe that the Quran is the word of God, which was revealed to Muhammad in Arabic and contains the guidance and laws for humanity. Islam has the five pillars of Islam, which are the core practices and obligations of every Muslim. They are, the declaration of faith, which is to testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger, the prayer, which is to perform five daily prayers facing the direction of Mecca, the charity, which is to give a portion of one's wealth to the poor and needy, the fasting, which is to abstain from food, drink, and sexual activity from dawn to dusk during the month of Ramadan, and the pilgrimage, which is to visit the holy city of Mecca at least once in a lifetime if possible. Islam has different titles for its leaders, such as imams, who lead the prayers and deliver sermons, sheikhs, who are scholars and teachers of Islamic law and theology, mullahs, who are religious judges and educators, and muftis, who are legal experts and interpreters of Islamic law. One of the main topics that both religions differ on is the role and status of prophets. Both religions trace their lineage to Abraham, who is considered the father of many nations and the first to submit to God's will. However, Islam considers Ishmael, the son of Abraham and his concubine Hagar, as the son of sacrifice and the ancestor of Muhammad. Christianity considers Isaac, the son of Abraham and his wife Sarah, as the son of sacrifice and the ancestor of Jesus. Islam recognizes many prophets who came before Muhammad, such as Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, Solomon, and Jesus, and respects them as messengers of God. Christianity also recognizes many prophets who came before Jesus, but regards Jesus as the fulfillment and the culmination of the prophetic tradition. Christianity does not accept Muhammad as a prophet, and considers him a false teacher who corrupted the original message of Jesus. Another major topic that both religions differ on is the nature and identity of Jesus. Islam accepts Jesus as a prophet and a virgin-born human, who was sent by God to preach the gospel to the Israelites. Islam denies the divinity of Jesus, and rejects the doctrine of the Trinity as a form of polytheism. Islam also denies the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, and claims that he was saved by God from death and raised to heaven. Islam believes that Jesus will return at the end of times to defeat the Antichrist and establish justice and peace on earth. Christianity accepts Jesus as the incarnate God and the Savior of humanity, who was sent by God to reveal his love and grace to the world. Christianity affirms the divinity of Jesus, and believes that he is the second person of the Trinity, who became flesh and dwelt among us. 
Christianity also affirms the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, and believes that he died for our sins and rose from the dead to conquer death and give us eternal life. Christianity believes that Jesus ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and that he will return at the end of times to judge the living and the dead and establish his kingdom. A third major topic that both religions differ on is the way of salvation. Islam teaches that salvation is based on works and God's mercy, and that humans are accountable for their actions and intentions. Islam believes that God is the most merciful and the most just, and that he will forgive those who repent and obey his commands. Islam also believes that there is a balance of good and bad deeds on the day of judgment, and that those whose good deeds outweigh their bad deeds will enter paradise, while those whose bad deeds outweigh their good deeds will enter hell. Islam also believes that there are intercessors and mediators who can help the believers, such as the prophets, the angels, and the righteous. Christianity teaches that salvation is based on faith and God's grace, and that humans are sinful and in need of God's forgiveness and transformation. Christianity believes that God is the most loving and the most holy, and that he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins and offer us a new life. Christianity also believes that there is no balance of good and bad deeds on the day of judgment, and that those who believe in Jesus and accept his gift of salvation will enter heaven, while those who reject Jesus and his offer of salvation will enter hell. Christianity also believes that there is only one intercessor and mediator between God and humans, and that is Jesus Christ. A fourth major topic that both religions differ on is the clergy and the holy days. Islam has different types of leaders who perform various functions and roles in the Muslim community. Some of them are, imams, who lead the prayers and deliver sermons in the mosques, sheikhs, who are scholars and teachers of Islamic law and theology, mullahs, who are religious judges and educators, and muftis, who are legal experts and interpreters of Islamic law. Islam also has different holy days and festivals that mark important events and occasions in the Islamic calendar. Some of them are, Ramadan, which is the ninth month of the lunar calendar, when Muslims fast from dawn to dusk and increase their worship and charity, Eid al adha which is the festival of sacrifice, when Muslims commemorate the willingness of Abraham to sacrifice his son and share their meat with the poor and needy, and Eid al-Fitr, which is the festival of breaking the fast, when Muslims celebrate the end of Ramadan and exchange gifts and greetings. Christianity has different types of clergy who perform various functions and roles in the Christian community. Some of them are, priests, who administer the sacraments and offer pastoral care in the Catholic and Orthodox churches, bishops, who oversee the priests and the churches in a certain region or diocese, ministers, who preach the word of God and lead the worship services in the Protestant churches, monks, who live a life of prayer and asceticism in the monasteries, and nuns, who dedicate their lives to God and serve the needy and the oppressed. Christianity also has different holy days and festivals that mark important events and occasions in the Christian calendar. Some of them are, Christmas, which is the celebration of the birth of Jesus on December 25th, Easter, which is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus on the first Sunday after the full moon of spring, Good Friday, which is the commemoration of the crucifixion of Jesus on the Friday before Easter, and Lent, which is the period of 40 days before Easter, when Christians fast, pray, and repent. A fifth and final topic that both religions differ on is the rules and guidelines that govern their daily lives. Islam tends to have stricter rules than Christianity, and follows the halal and kosher diet laws, which prohibit the consumption of certain foods and drinks, such as pork, alcohol, blood, and carrion. Islam also has rules on dress code, hygiene, prayer, marriage, inheritance, and other aspects of life, which are derived from the Quran, the Sunnah, which is the example and teachings of Muhammad, and the Sharia, which is the Islamic law. Islam also has different schools of thought, 